Good morning from Milano. What's on my mind today is my word for the year, and I've been debating whether or not to share it. On the one hand, it feels super personal. On the other hand, I feel like it's a way of sharing my process and urging you to find your own way. This is not a comparison game. I think I told you in a previous episode that I felt shut down at the beginning of the year when I kept seeing people asking about goals, sharing their word for the year. And after a conversation with one of my friends, I decided to allow for it to come to me. I have the clear intention every year that I want to direct my time and energy and my thoughts, but it had become homework, this trying to come up with my goals or my word for the year. And I'm really glad that I let myself off the hook and waited for it to come because in my case, it came in one fell swoop. One morning I was lying in bed in that liminal space between worlds and it just came to me. Anyway, I've decided that I'm going to share it because it may be helpful to someone And if it is triggering for you, just turn me off. I am one of those people that likes acronyms. So I often try to take my ideas and make an acronym out of it. A little bit it's because I I have a bad memory. And a little bit because I think an acronym is kind of a way to see for myself if it was just some lofty idea or whether it's something that really landed. Because if I can remember it, It's a signal to me that it's more meaningful. Anyway, I got lucky and the thoughts I was having about how I want to direct myself this year turned out to be the perfect acronym. And my acronym this year for 2024 is SERVE. And it's funny because you're likely to jump to the conclusion that it's about how I want to serve with Dear Constance. But actually, SERVE, in fact, is all about reminding myself and staying connected to what's important to me and for me in order that I can show up grounded in my highest self, in my best energy, in order that I may serve. So here we go. S is for support systems, and that's support and systems. Asking for help in the areas of my life where I need support, especially Dear Constance, because I know having good systems will allow me to be more in flow, have more fun, and do more of what I love most in Dear Constance. Because I know that having systems in place create time and space for me to do more of what I love most in Dear Constance and to be more in flow when I work. E is for effort and excellence. R is for respect, respecting myself and respecting my process. V is for the Roman goddesses Venus and Veritas. I'm declaring to myself consistently, I'm ready for my next love and I want to make space for it. I want love in my life. And Veritas is to remind myself of the importance I attribute to standing in my truth and being a speaker of truth. And the final E in serve is for expectation, because I seek to live my life in positive expectation. I truly believe that the master plan for our life is better and more beautiful and more perfect than we can imagine. And I like to live with this sense of positive expectation. So there you have it. Those are the core thoughts and feelings I want to be grounded in as I direct myself this year. And I'm going to kick this off right here and right now with the word support. I need some support with Dear Constance. And I realized that one of the reasons that I haven't done this rocket fuel call is because I need help. In fact, that's what got me on to this idea of support systems. I'm like, why am I putting that call off? Am I sabotaging myself? And that's when it came to me, no, it is important to me. And what's shutting me down is that I'm not that person that's going to organize the Zoom call. That's not what I'm good at. So if there's anyone who happens to be listening that would like to raise their hand to help me organize that call, I'd be very grateful to you. The idea is to bring together people on a Zoom call who want to be part of the Rocket Fuel group and come together four times a year, once per quarter, 
because they value the support of being with like-minded people to direct their time and energy and effort to intentionally create a great year for themselves. So thank you to anyone who may be willing to raise their hand to help me out on that. I'd really appreciate it. I will say I do feel a little vulnerable having shared my word for the year. So there you have it. That's all for today. Until next time, from my heart to yours.